Hello everyone, welcome to Milky Sing Academy. This is Jaskirath here. In this video, we are going to learn about how to assign a custom policy to multiple users in Microsoft Teams. So previously in the Teams admin panel, we have this limitation that you can only assign a policy to maximum 20 users. So there's a limitation that you can only select 20 users at a time. So in order to select multiple users, uh, you can uh, you have to use the Windows PowerShell. So in this video, we are going to cover that, how to do that. So let's get started here. So guys, uh, before assigning a policy to multiple users, you must have uh, these things installed into your computer or you have uh, taken care of these things. So the first thing is that uh, your operating system that uh, Windows must be 64-bit uh, and uh, as you can see i am running windows 10 and it has a 64-bit operating system so similarly you have to use your 64-bit operating system and 32-bit uh, is not going to work here and the next thing is that uh, your powershell this uh, windows powershell must be of uh, latest version that is a 5.1 so if you are anyhow running a older version of this powershell go ahead and uh, update that and I have uh, created a video for that also that uh, how to update your PowerShell through your uh, by downloading your some files from the Microsoft official website so once you do that the next thing is that uh, you have to uh, filter out some user that uh, you are going to assign your custom policies to so here I have opened up my this uh, 365 admin center so let me uh, open up this uh, user here so this is the user so if i come here to this to this three dotted button if i click on it and uh, click on manage contact information so the guys are uh, purpose of me showing you this uh, uh, contact information is that because we are here you can see we have different field properties like uh, first name last name display name job title department so what we are going to do in this video tutorial that uh, we are going to use this department field property name so our department here for this user is computer science so what we are going to do we are going to sort all the users that comes in computer science department and uh, we are going to apply a policy to them so this is, these are our uh, properties that we are going to use in our powershell commands so so you must do the same thing so sort out your users whom you want to apply this uh, custom policy so maybe you are if you are uh, applying this for a organization or a college or a school so you must have uh, given a department name while you are uploading multiple users through csv file in uh, in this uh, microsoft 365 admin center once you have know that uh, which department uh, and which user you want to apply this policies so the next thing is to you have to create a custom policy in a teams admin center so if i click on this uh, 365 admin center left in navigation pane and if i click on this show all it will give the all the admin panels for 365 a1 accounts so here is the team so just click on it and uh, for this demonstration i have already created a uh, custom policy in messaging policy so you should also do the same create a policy in whatever uh, policy section you want to create that so once it's opened up so let me click on this uh, nav nav left navigation pane here and uh, from here I will select this uh, messaging policy so as I told you that uh, I have already created a policy for that which uh, we are going to assign to these users that belong to this department that is computer science so as on the screen you can see uh, I have uh, created this restricted chat policy so if I click on it and uh, you will get the details of this uh, policy here so I turned off everything so the users cannot uh, do a chat or private chat in their respective teams so just clicking on cancel so the purpose again uh, the purpose of me, me to showing you this uh, restricted chat custom policy is that that in our powershell commands we are again going to use this restricted chat policy name so we are going to assign this uh, policy to our users that belong to our this uh, computer science department and uh, the last and uh, the very important uh, that you have to uh, take care of is that we have to download this skype for business online 
Windows PowerShell module. So because we are uh, connecting to our Skype for business online, so that is why if you haven't uh, downloaded this PowerShell module, you have you have to install it into your computer. So you have two methods to install this uh, module into your computer into your PowerShell. So either you can uh, download it from the official website of Microsoft manually or you can follow the commands that I am going to use in this uh, tutorial so just follow that and you are able to download this uh, module into your PowerShell so you can uh, download manually or you can go through the PowerShell command so it's your choice so I have put all the uh, links in the description box so you can download all the files from there so guys uh, I assume that uh, you have done everything that I told you like uh, <clears throat> you must be a windows 64 bit operating system and uh, you have to set your property fields uh, from the user so which user you want to apply that policy and you have uh, created a policy that you are going to uh, apply on that users so all good to go let's uh, run some commands in our powershell so let me open up this powershell and uh, guys uh, you have to open up this uh, uh, powershell in the administrator mode so in order to run the command so you must be uh, running this into into this uh, administrator mode so let me open up the commands uh, so we are going to copy paste all the commands from here so these are the commands and uh, i have already uh, given this uh, these commands in the description box you can download all these commands from there and uh, apply into your powershell so all good to go let's uh, copy our first command here so we are using these three commands to install this uh, Skype for business online module into our computer into our PowerShell so let me copy this first command here and uh, copying and you can do the same things what I'm doing here and here in the PowerShell just to click right click here and it will automatically copy this command into your PowerShell this uh, time uh, window here so just uh, enter and uh, it will uh, run this command here so it, will, it is asking us to get the current credential so it's gonna open up this uh, window here windows powershell credential request so here you have to put your username and your password so username must be your official teams admin id password so mine is just the international mansa punjab at the rate on microsoft.com so i'm going to copy this here and uh, going to paste it here and just click paste now here just to type in your password so i am typing in my password here and after typing in just click on ok and uh, now you have to run the second command that is uh, creating a online session for this credential so just copy and uh, we are going to install this file into our powershell just copying and just press enter and it will going to install certain files into our this uh, powershell here so it will take some time so all is done here it got the credentials here so let's uh, run our next uh, command that is import all the sessions here into our module and it is going to download the files and install in our computer here so these are all the commands to install this uh, what we can say this uh, skype for business online windows powershell module through the powershell so you can also manually download it if you want if you do not want to run these commands so as you can see creating implicit uh, remote med remoting module so getting command information from the remote server session sorry so it is going to going it is receiving the certain commands and uh, creating a implicit remote module here so so you don't need to do anything here once you did that you will get this uh, confirmation message something like module type version and uh, name of that version and exported commands so let's run our next command that is uh, we are going to create import these modules skype online connector so just uh, make sure that you copy all the commands so starting from left to right so here we i'm going to copy here the next command so just press enter and uh, again uh, we have to run the next command so we are creating a online session here and uh, just copy and just press enter so here it is again our asking our principal name so your domain name so here you have to again copy your domain name from the official id that is your admin id so i'm going to copy this here again and uh, just uh, battery is like running low so let me charge my computer here so just type in your id here and press enter 
So here you have uh, the same window while you are signing into your this uh, Microsoft 365 account. So just type in your password here once again. So I'm typing in my password and click on sign in and you will be signed into your account here. So you have successfully signed in. So let's run our next command that is import uh, your PowerShell session. So we are importing our commands here and uh, just copy and uh, paste here and just press enter. So once we have uh, connected, now we have access to range of PowerShell command lets available for management of teams as a service. So for our purpose in this video tutorial, all we have to need is to access, uh, we are going to get our access to control the team's messaging policies. So as in the starting of this video, I have told you that we have to filter some users from by the properties like a department name and a job or something like that. So here I'm going to use uh, that department property and uh, I have also told you that you are going to need a custom policy and uh, we have already created a restricted chat policy in the teams admin panel. So guys uh, what I'm going to do here I'm going to use department in the filter and uh, going to grant all the people in the research department this policy restricted chat. So let me open up this uh, commands here from the notepad. So this is our first command. So what it is going to do it is going to uh, show all the users who are uh, belong to this computer science department. So let me copy and paste this uh, command here. So let me make it uh, above this one here. So just press enter and uh, it is going to show us all the users that belongs to this uh, computer science. So here you can see Alex faculty, this, these are the uh, four users who are belonging to this computer science department. So the next command we are going to run is our this one. So this one, this command is going to uh, assign a our restricted chat policy to the all the users that belong to our computer science department. So we have a uh, pipe out all the uh, users that belong to this computer science department. Now we're going to grant these principal uh, users to this policy. So just paste this uh, command here. So let me make it bigger here so you will see the command right properly. So this is our command here. So we are filtering date department a computer science and we are granting here messaging policy and the policy name is restricted chat. So maybe your policy name is something somewhat different from mine and maybe your department is something different but uh, you have to change the name of your department and your uh, policy name here. So, or you can name them as I have given the restricted chat or computer science if you are applying this to uh, new users. So, all is good here. Let's open up this uh, Teams and now press enter. So, this command is going to assign this uh, restricted chat policy to this uh, computer science users. So, these are the users here. So once uh, it's completed, uh, let's run a very last command here to check whether this policy is assigned to intended users or not. So for that, run the last command here. So let me copy the last command, so which is going to uh, show us all the users uh, that has assigned this uh, restricted chat. So I'm going to copy this command and uh, going to paste it here in the PowerShell here. So, so what this uh, uh, command, this last command is going to do, it's, it is going to show us all the uh, members that are blah, have having this restricted chat policy so just press enter so here you can see uh, we have uh, successfully uh, implement our restricted chat policy uh, to these four users so you can apply this policy to as many as users you want so currently I have uh, four user in my computer science department and for the Further verification, let me open up this uh, Teams uh, admin panel. So let's uh, double verify this thing here. So I'm opening up my browser window here. So currently I open up this uh, users here. So let me type in the, so who are the users? So let me check what users I have assigned this policy. So I have assigned to this uh, Imran uh, underscore CS. So let me search Imran here. So Imran is a user who belongs to this uh, computer science department so Imran I'm searching Imran here so here it is so just drag here to the 
policy assigns assigned here so just uh, click on this view policy button here and it will show us the all the policies so here you can see uh, we have uh, successfully assigned the restricted chat so that is all guys how to assign a custom policy to multiple users through powershell so i hope that you have liked this video so it is a bit long one but uh, we have uh, covered a very important topic so you could save a lot of time of your so thanks a lot for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe my channel see you soon